what is up everybody it is kicking with jay back with another video and in this one i'm taking the starbucks cold brew and i'm putting it up against the tim horns iced coffee i love my coffee like as in i drink a cold brew every single day but today we are expanding and we're going out of our comfort zone Don't hate me for my artistic skills, but this is my comfort zone. And in today's video, we are stepping this much outside my comfort zone today. I'm, we're talking about breaking down barriers, moving past things, living life on the edge. That's what I'm doing today. Let's go. <laughs> So just an update, I have gotten the Tim Hortons iced coffee. I have also got the Starbucks cold brew here. Most important thing I'm ready to try right now is this donut. I haven't had it all day. Also, right now, I'm gonna add a, what is it, what is, what is the thing that everyone is doing these days? No, 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 not, not, not TikToks. Like the people that the vloggers, like the stuff that they always do. Ah, right. B-roll. Let's roll that clip now. the Tim Hortons iced coffee versus the Starbucks cold brew I got both of them this one I definitely spend a lot more time waiting for uh, as you saw that they were having um, technical difficulties with their systems which is okay which is okay I don't mind that I mean agent I wish I could have uh, gone through that line process a little bit quicker just so that I can get back and do this so the first thing that we're gonna be discussing versus Tim Hortons versus Starbucks is the price of the coffees the iced coffee cost only two dollars and 61 cents after taxes which is not bad for the size that i'm getting it's pretty good secondly we have the starbucks cold brew and now this costed me 5.99 for both of the uh, for just the one so this cost me 261 after taxes this was 5.99 so if you think about it, the price of this is double what this is. You see what I'm saying? So, I mean, when it comes to price point, I'm going to have to give it to Tim Hortons on this one. Tim Hortons, you guys have the better price for a iced coffee. All right, guys. Now it comes down to the sizing of the Starbucks and Tim Hortons cup. So in this one and this one, if you put them side by side, obviously the best way to measure it is by putting them side by side is if you look at it the starbucks cup seems to be a little bit larger than the tim horns cup but the thing is looks can be deceiving if we take a closer look the tim hortons and the starbucks have the same amount of coffee in it we're we're excluding the fact that there's cold foam sitting on top but the actual amount of coffee are exactly the same so when it comes to sizing and how much you get in each cup i'm giving it a draw okay now <laughs> this is the moment i've been waiting for all day because again i haven't had coffee 
all day. It's almost while well, the sun's going down. So in the wintertime when the sun goes down, it's usually about midday. So it's about midday and I haven't had my coffee yet. And I'm really excited and stoked to try, well, try this one. I know what this one will probably taste like. Well, the thing is with Starbucks, the only thing is you never know with what you're really going to get out of this. If someone that's experienced and drinks this, or drinks it, makes it, <laughs> it's going to taste great. But if someone is new or training and still doesn't know what they're doing and they miss, what's the word, miss, mix it wrong, add the wrong ingredients or whatever it is, the drink is no longer the same. We'll see what Tim Hortons has to offer. You are first. You are now on the tasting block. Maybe I should shake it out. Maybe that will do it. drink about half of that okay do I need to give it like a few seconds or a minute just to let like my taste buds like reset or do I just dive right into it I guess we'll just dive right into it right Maybe I should have waited. <laughs> I, I, I can't tell the difference. Is that sad? Is it supposed to be a difference? Yeah, I like to chew ice. So for me, the Starbucks coffee tasted way better than the Tim Hortons coffee. Sorry, Tim Hortons. I just feel like I tasted a lot more when I was drinking the Starbucks coffee. But when it came to pricing, you guys were great. When it came to the size, you guys actually matched the same amount as Starbucks did. It's just the Starbucks just tasted better for me. And so... I think I'm gonna have to stick with Tim, no, Tim Hortons. No, I'm gonna have to stick with Starbucks. That is my go-to. But I will say this, Tim Hortons, if I am kind of like in the middle of the day and I need like that small little boost of energy to kind of push me past the day and let's just say, you know, I need that second cup of coffee and I need maybe like a cheaper alternative. I know for a fact that I will not hesitate to go to a Tim Hortons and grab that iced coffee. And with that being said, this is the end of the Tim Hortons versus Starbucks challenge. It was a great versus. Um, I really enjoyed doing it. If you haven't already, make sure you comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you on the next one. Now that everyone is gone, I can indulge in coffee. I work tomorrow at 9.30 in the morning. And it's like almost like 5. And I have no idea how I'm going to go to sleep. But I have so much energy. And I figured out a way to burn this off. So I'm passed out. Alright, here we go.